Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today I'm playing some more Castle Story. Meet me back in Fatty Island where last time we've had a few struggles. <laughs> Unfortunately the game is getting rather rock solid difficult in terms of, well, us dying over and over again. There's not actually that much time in between each wave which I think is our major problem, which you can actually set in the game, but, you know, I wanted to give myself a proper difficult task, but maybe I made it a bit too difficult. However, today we're going to be doing Wave 15, which is going to start in just over a minute. I'm just doing my little spiel at the start of the episode. Since last time, not much has really happened. Just as a little recap, we are rebuilding all of the defences that we've currently lost. They keep being broken down by the Corruptrons. Now, we don't have any points to actually spawn any more archers in. Not sure how long we're actually going to last this wave, whether we're going to last it at all. We can hope. So let's unpause this. Oh my god, I'm terrified. So what we're going to do is we're going to get people onto these building tasks. Now, there's been quite a few good suggestions in the comment section below in the last episode from you guys telling me what exactly you think I should do to improve our defences. I do actually tend to agree with everything that you're saying. Unfortunately, the reality is that the amount of time in between the waves is not really allowing me to build that much. What I would like to do is put an additional layer around this building, the central tower, making it maybe three wide, then putting an additional block on top of this lip that we've created to make it too high. So when our archers get hit by a projectile, they just fall back, but they don't fall off of the platform, which would be very good indeed. Of course, alternative things that we could do is put down like the nice idea that I had of a single block high of like strips of wall along here, because then it means that all the corruptrons have to climb over each one and then be sniped by all the archers. Another major problem that we're facing is the current stone problem. As you can see, there are massive piles of stones everywhere, which I still don't have enough time to even clean up. So, yeah, it's pretty difficult. We should probably recall of our workers, shouldn't we? Instead of having them standing around. Okay, how much percentage do we have here? 5%, so we're nowhere near the next archer. Might be a bit of an issue. So there's one small guy coming from over this way, a few from this side, and a big one. Now, where are the rest? Okay, so there's a few coming from over here, and also it looks like a couple of little ones from over this way, but where are the majority coming from? Just this side. Okay, well hopefully if we manage to snipe them off before they get their hands on any of the rocks to hit our archers off, we'll be okay. Having said that, Oasis is net. Oh no, it's Clyde, not Oasis. Delicious drink, Oasis. Maybe Bilbo should get up here. And then Clyde, you can come back up onto this corner like this. There we go. Now, I've actually heard from the developers in the last episode, so hello if you're watching again. I hope you're not minding my ramblings too much. But yeah, uh, basically there are a few issues that have been ironed out in terms of the AI of the archers being able to like, click on certain areas. Oh my god, look how many big guys are coming from this direction. Okay, Joss, it's time for you to get up here as well. And we're also going to get Oasis onto this corner. Oh, no, it's not, no, not Oasis, Potamax. Oasis should definitely not get involved on this corner. I think maybe we should put a few more archers on this side. Oh my god, Potamax, where are you going? Potamax, this is a really terrible idea, friend. Okay, well, we're actually going to get Potamax to come up onto this tower here, then, if he's not going to do anything else very useful. But yeah, a few of these issues in terms of movement and everything else have actually been ironed out uh, in the Bleeding Edge branch. Okay, Louis, it would help if you actually shot someone. Oh my god, he's just going to climb down. No, it's fine. Oh god, Bilbo! Bilbo, move! He's swimming in the midair again! And Potamax isn't even doing anything. Okay, Clyde. Time to come down here, friend. But yeah, a few of these uh, movement issues and bugs we've got... Louis, move back! Move back, Louis! Um, ...have been ironed out in the Bleeding Edge branch. However, that branch is not actually stable for saving, which is going to make a bit of an issue. Oh god, they're climbing towards the central crystal area. Maybe we should move Sardine back a little bit. Yeah, Sardine, time to move back. Oh no, he's actually fine. If we can get a few shots off on this big guy before he gets over to Sardine, that would also be quite helpful. In fact, Sardine... Oh god, what's happening? Move out of the way. Ah, oh, damn it. He was canned in. Like a fish. What am I talking about? Okay, where are all the other guys attacking from? There's one big guy down here who has just been killed. We've got this last one over here who's going to be sniped just now. God knows how I actually survived that. How many archers do we even have left? <laughs> this is another question I have. Oasis, we're going to sure up the defences this time. It's the episode of soft drinks. 
I don't know if you actually have Oasis in America. I'm sure you probably do. If you do, let me know in the comment section, because I'd be interested. I quite like Oasis. It makes me sad ever since they stopped selling Still Fanta in McDonald's in England. Still Fanta is just normal Fanta, but it's... Well, still, it doesn't have any bubbles in it, which is what I always ordered when I went there. But they don't do that anymore, which is a bit sad. And instead, they replaced it with Oasis. Why am I going on a ramble about Oasis and McDonald's drinks? Okay, well, either way... <laughs> Dear God, what am I doing? We need to start spawning some more people in. Did we lose any of our workers? Doesn't look like it. It just looks like they're having a bit of a spaz around. After that attack, they don't know what to do with themselves. But what we are going to tell them to do is actually start fixing up these walls, because, dear God, it's not going to get any easier. So we need to get our defences back up and working. If we zoom in slightly, I might be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so we need to put a single block on that corner like so. We're also going to put another block like that. We're going to build another one of those there, and we're going to try and repair this wall, just to slow down the rate at which the people are getting through. By people, I mean horrible rock creatures from hell. Okay, what else have we got here? Also, if, if we can, with the amount of time we've got, I doubt that we can, I'd like to start building up another little bit of this wall. And the way we're going to do this is basically by putting down some bricks along it like so. We're also, just because the amount of time that we've got, going to have to build a little bit of the wall at a time. We're not going to be able to build an entire one of these with the resources we've got. What we are going to have to do, from the looks of things we've only got three archers left, great. We're going to have to get another archer, he's going to stay over on that corner. Potamax is going to come over here. We're going to get Clyde to stand sort of in the middle, like this. Or should he actually just stand here? Maybe we'll get Clyde to stand here, because if any of the Corruptions run around this side, I guess he can still snipe them. There is a bit of a risk of him sniping Louie, so maybe we'll move Louie over here. We're also going to get Gatto to stand on this corner. It's a bit like this. Actually, we can get him to stand on this lip up this side instead. And then we're going to get another archer in. We lost a lot of archers in that round, didn't we? don't know how that even happened. Well, I suppose they did send, like, four massive guys at us. And we can actually get another archer as well. So we're sort of getting the same amount of archers for each wave. Unfortunately, the waves aren't getting bigger. So the net gain in uh, resources in terms of our forces that we're going to defend with are actually slowly going down, which isn't really great. Beware. Beware of loss. <laughs> we're going to put beware up here. We can also move beware around a little bit based on how and where we need him. And aside from that, there's not much else we can do. Obviously we've got people mining. We've got some blue crystal as well. It might be worth getting one of our miners to go and grab that to put it in our stockpile. Because it's only going to help us in our progression to getting another dude. And I think at this point in time, again, we're going to have to go for archers. Because unfortunately we are being completely mullered. We could go for more of these guys. And actually they're doing a fantastic job with the building. So I think maybe we should tell them to build some more of this wall. Although we've only got a minute left to do this in. Hmm... Okay, well, we'll put the nice crosshatch of uh, brick design just to make this wall a bit stronger. And we're going to do that like so, and then we're also going to put one of these on the top block, and then another single block here. Slowly, if I can build this up, this central tower, to be three blocks thick, that will be very good indeed. Of course, you then have the tunnelling problem. We won't mention that of where Corruptrons then, like, tunnel through, which, th which then means that the visibility of those Corruptrons to your archers is non-existent, which means they can just burrow through to the crystal. But we're not going to talk about that. It's going to be fine. We're just going to assume that everything's going to go fine and dandy, which is probably a bit uh, not likely. Okay, what are we on? 90%. Wow, okay. So we could actually get Blim over here to grab the rest of this blue crystal. Oh, no, we don't have any blue crystal. Oh, God, that was one other thing I was going to do. I completely forgot that we even had a catapult. I actually know how this catapult works now. What you need to do is build a barrel and then put the yellow crystal inside of that barrel and then load it into here and have a guy shoot it. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that this time, but it's okay. Okay, so what have we got for this wave? Three small guys. We've also got... Oh, nothing. Oh, one small guy over here. Another... Oh, a god. Another three small guys over here. Hopefully, though... We should be able to snipe all these guys before they hit us off. Clyde is going to have to come back up here, if possible, please. And then once that's done, we should have a bit more of a defensive force shooting at all these guys through the gap here. 
Oh god, we're starting to get hit off a little bit. Beware, please come back in the confines of the castle, that'd be very helpful. Well, so Potamax, come up here. Beware, for god's sake, what the hell are you doing? Oh my god. Clyde is dead. There's a big one over there. Are there any more big ones anywhere? It doesn't really look like it. There's just a continual stream of the small ones. Gatto, come up here please, friend. Looks like they're breaking through somewhere. I can't really see where they're breaking through. Might be worth, if we can, if we're on above 90%, getting a knight just to defend the central crystal area. Unfortunately, Gatto has been surrounded as well. I can't really move them around that easily. Is this GG? They've sent a load of small guys towards us, which you might think small guys just take one hit to kill them. But it's not always that simple, unfortunately. Come on, 93%. Can we get to 100%? Oh, that's it. Good job, beware. Just snipe our own workers. That's going to help everyone, isn't it? Potamax might be a good idea to move away from this situation, as you are going to be walloped in the head by a massive stone fist in a moment. But you know what? It's okay. He's completely stuck in there, which is not very helpful towards our cause. We've only got one guy down here that's going to defend. You can get another archer in, who I suppose we could get on the wall to start sniping these big guys, although I think our defensive forces aren't really going to be able to handle two of them. Oh dear, Potamax, please. Are you actually able to get out of this situation? Doesn't look like it. I think he's stuck, unfortunately, in this little gap that the big guy has sniped down. He's not really sniping anything, is he? Oh wow, Potamax, well done. He's, like, defeated the one guy, the one big guy up there. It looks like the big guy here is also going to just go into the central crystal area. Oh no, he's actually going for Beware. Okay, good job, Beware. You lived for... The glorious moment of one day, and then got hit in the face by a giant rock god. I think gods, I wonder, sort of like elementals more likely, aren't they? Okay, well, we lost pretty much everyone in that. Unfortunately, we, how many workers have we got? Seven, apparently. Okay, well, let's get Oasis back on this task. If we're going to go down, we're going to go down fighting. We're also going to get someone in the construction. Meow, I want you to come over here and we're going to start figuring out how to use this catapult. Because, my god, I think we'll probably need it. So let's get one of these and we need a barrel. And let's put the barrels down over here, like this. And then we're going to get him onto this building task. We're going to get all of our defences back up and running. Unfortunately, the wall did take a bit of a battering again. Not that we can really do much about that. We can spawn in another one of these archers. Please be enough to defend the next wave. And do we have enough resources to create these? I think we do. We have one log here. And there's actually another log over in this direction. So we've got enough of these barrels. Then once these barrels are created, we're going to fill them with the yellow crystal. And once that's done, we're going to get him onto the catapult and hopefully start fixing up all of these defences with Toa. Uh, two completely separate statements, but I made it seem like it was one. And oh, we can actually spawn in three more people. Wow, okay. So let's get another archer. We're going to get Pong here on this corner. As part of this construction task, I also need to tell them to fix this wall up. Okay, so let's now get Meow. Gab grab some of this yellow stuff. And then we're going to put it in these barrels. And once that's done, we can fill up this catapult. If this catapult is going to enable us to destroy like a whole wave of corruptions in one go, I'm going to be very sad. Because why didn't we think of that before? Oh, they can only hold 10, apparently. Okay, well, that's kind of fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to get Meow to pick this up, and we're going to get him to put it into here. If this works, please work. Oh, fantastic. Look at this. Okay, so then we're going to get this to direct itself over here. Probably don't want to right-click quite yet, do we? Because it might fire the resources over. What we are going to do then is we're going to get Meow here to come and cut down some more of these trees. Now, this is to give us a few more wooden resources in order to make a few more barrels so we can just keep reloading them, frankly. That's literally the only aim we have right now. And actually spawn in two more of these guys as well. So we'll get one more of these. Another archer is always a good thing. We're going to put him on this corner. As part of this building task, where are all our builders gone? No trees to cut. Okay, well, maybe we can put him on the building task instead. Where are our builders? And why are they confused? What's going on? Blim... Apparently there's no reason why he isn't building any of this stuff. Okay then. Well, instead of standing around doing nothing, I want him to expand this wall here. And we're going to do that like so. Again, cross-hatching those bricks. 
And if we can only make it too high, that's also fine. But we'll do the third layer just in case they do have the time to do this. We can also spawn in another archer. I'm wondering whether we should start spawning in some more workers, but the workers seem to be doing their job fairly well. So I don't think we need to worry too much. I think what's going to happen is with this catapult, even though it's going to help us destroy a load of Corruptrons, I think it will mean that we're going to lose one of our Brickdons in the fight because they are very exposed here. We haven't even put this like on a tower or anything. Might be an idea actually to build a tower to put this on in the future so that the guy who's operating it isn't too exposed. But for now we're just going to have to accept that as the situation. Got loads of bricks so we can actually build up this wall quite quickly. Look at this. It's progress. Fantastic. In fact, shall I just tell them to do even more of this? Yeah, sure. Why not? So we're going to put a single brick down there like that, then a double brick, double brick on top of that with another single brick, and then a single brick with a double brick on top of that. Look at this. The progress is real, people. Progress is real. I think in the next break I'm going to build up this side of the wall as a priority, and then maybe this side. But for now it seems okay. Are there any, like, damages... On this, oh god, there is actually a gap here, isn't there? I didn't even recognise that that was an issue. Okay, well, let's recall all workers. We're going to hopefully have enough forces to defend this time. I don't think we have any more blue crystal. Oh, we do. Damn it, I probably could have brought that in. Okay, well, there's a few ones coming over here. Actually, five small. And then a load of tiny ones over this direction. And quite a few over here as well. Damn, this is going to make it difficult. But it's okay, we've got quite a few archers sniping on this main central area. Oh god, I didn't even think to allocate one of these guys the task of captaining this catapult. So we'll send Meow over there as soon as we can. We're also going to get this to fire. Should we get it to fire here? Fire! Fire! Fire? No? Why not fire? Do I have to press enter? It's not doing anything. Luckily, these archers are doing a fantastic job of defending over in this direction. We're going to get Potamax back on this side. Where's our other archer gone? I thought we had more archers than this. Apparently not. No, Potamax! Oh my god. Oh god, please. Please fire. Fire! Fire! Okay, the firing is not working. Oh damn it, we didn't finish the wall, so it's given a nice uh, little staircase up for the enemy. We're going to actually bring Plaug over in this direction. Oh my god, Plaug! He was like the first character I ever played as in the very first series. I think in the tutorial even. Oh, was that one of our archers down here that I didn't realise? Okay, well that was great. We're going to get Plaug up on this side again. Are they just going to fight through the door? Hang on, why was one of our archers behind the door? And also, another question, why was the Corruption able to actually punch through the door itself? God, okay. Another bug, but it's okay. Don't worry about it, everyone. It's fine. This might be the end. Wolf, or Woof, he's dead. He got trapped in. Plough might be worth uh, moving backwards as well, just because this is probably not a very good place to stand. Okay, now where are you going to stand? Plough might be worth moving back again. This one's just being sniped. I think he's a bit confused by, what's his name, Nad, the Gonads. He's going to get it in the Gonads. Okay, if we can focus this one down, then there's only going to be one of these left. Oh my god, Potamax, no, move backwards. Nad is a bit distracted. We can get another one of these very soon, 55%. Oh god, I think we've lost most of our defensive forces. Nad is now cornered in as well, so he's probably going to get instantly mullered by this guy. Have we actually got any more archers? 68%. Doesn't look like it. Blim, he just got punched in the face. Here we go, he got... One of these guys, quickly! No! Damn it. Game over. We survived 17 waves, though. It would have been nice to got to 20. I think, though, considering how much we're struggling with this, we could give it another go. Yeah, fine, you could argue that. But I really want to give this another go with different settings, maybe make it a bit easier. Um, just, so, you know, make the time in between waves longer. And if you guys like that as an idea, you gave all your suggestions and feedback last episode, and it seemed like that was the sort of overall response, that you wanted me to do another mini-series on this game, but you wanted me to make it a bit fairer on myself, because this is, like, rock-hard difficult. Button. <laughs> Well, if you enjoyed this series, this particular hard mode playthrough of Castle Story, then please feel free to leave your support, as always, in the comment section below. Let's leave ratings and tell your friends. There might be another one of these coming very soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.